Assalamualaikum Hai semua <laughs> Jadi hari ini kita bertemu kembali Dalam channel Riza Official Dan sudah tentunya Another reaction video lagi Tapi sebelum itu Jangan kamu lupa untuk subscribe channel saya Dan jangan kamu lupa untuk Kasih aktif juga Itu notification Supaya kamu tidak terlepaslah Dengan any latest video dari saya Oke okay? jadi saya ada dapat request dari kamu Untuk react satu video mengenai Indonesia's biggest football stadium yaitu Gelora Bung Karno Indonesia Stadium di Jakarta, Indonesia. Sumber video ini adalah dari travel vlogger yaitu Kone Sullivan. Jadi apa yang saya tahu lah kan kira-kira masa tahun 1984 kalau saya tidak silap Well, saya ada buat research juga sebelum saya buat reaction ini video nama stadium ini diubah menjadi stadium utama Senayan tapi diubah kembali ke nama asal yaitu stadium utama Gelora Bung Karno pada tahun 1998 wow itu merupakan tahun lahir saya <laughs> Jadi itu merupakan sempena nama presiden pertama di Indonesia lah kan So, tanpa buang masa Jom kita tengok sama-sama ini video Dang, wow. oh the bridge looks even better at night, look at this This is a nice stadium right here <laughs> you want? No, no, no. You don't like hot? No, oh, no. Dude, Indonesian said he didn't like hot. But yeah, I just got a bunch of I got a bunch of hot sauce in my bike because I went to ABC and they gave me three bottles. But I haven't tried it out yet. It's only 27, so that's two dollars for the full tank. It lasts me about a week. Crazy good prices. This is what you call rush hour in the city. Also, golden hour. So it's beautiful. Got the sunset coming in nicely. Wow. And we're going this through the building. Idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, look at all this traffic, man. Bro, this is like some New York City or Los Angeles traffic right here. I knew Jakarta was crazy, but didn't know it would be equal to LA or New York. This is pretty dope, though, being on a bike. This is why you get on a bike. Because, look, I can just go through a little bit easier than the cars, you know? Cars are rock, bikes are sand, and you kind of just filter through on a bike. <laughs> Biasanya dia travel di Indonesia <laughs> Siap buat vlog lagi Alright, so look at this This is the main fountain right here The main rotunda And then here's the main mall as well right here It's called Grand Indonesia I'll probably go there after I go to the stadium Let's go Jalan Sudirman Street Heading to go Gelora Bung Karno Stadium <laughs> Kalau guna motosikal saja Memang boleh right, sesuatu Sekarang saya di rush hour Saya hanya di jalan Dan sekarang saya di luar Di luar nasional stadium Ini harus cool, man Dan ini adalah bagian yang lebih baik Tengah Saya pikir This bridge is super well built Super well built As if I know how to build a bridge But it looks really nice Let's get up to the people here Here's the bridge The architecture is nice and it was made for the Asian Games, which is something like the Olympic Games for the uh, region of Asia. This is a nice scene, bro. Talk about Jakarta traffic. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, so I just rode my bike all the way through here. My Airbnb is on this road. Boom, boom, boom. And motorbikes as always, man. Gets you through faster. In a car, I said it would take 40 minutes. On my bike, it only took 20. Heck yeah. Masih baik di guna motosikal So this guy named Sokarno, he was the first president of Indonesia, correct me if I'm wrong. The gate is just straight wide open. Lots of people just jogging around the stadium. Mm. And see, this is something America should take from Asian countries. If in America they open the professional stadiums where people just come and run around on the weekends, a lot more people in your city would be healthy. And it's just dope. Exercise. Let's see if we can actually get inside. This is a nice stadium right here, bro. Wow. Look at this. So this is where Parsija, 
one of the most famous professional soccer teams from Indonesia plays. And that's a nice field right there. I'm gonna see if I can go down there and fly the drone. And maybe you guys can see it better. I just got out of the stadium, hope you like that drone footage, and guess what? All these people are running, and then this one guy was running, looking at me like this, and I was like, why is this guy looking at me? And then he said, Connor? Watches yeah. the videos. What's your name? Italo. Italo, and do you live in Jakarta? Half Bali, half Jakarta. So you live, so you switch, you work in Bali and Jakarta? Yes. It looks like you come here every weekend to work out? Starting every weekend. This, this, Starting this weekend, but this is a place. With my office, with my office. Oh, nice. So I don't know where my... Where your office crew is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, so it is actually popular for people to come here and run all the time? Yes. Yes, okay. especially young, executive people coming for because it's you know all these. Yeah, you know, this these, is the business district. Yeah, district. Business. So they have they take a break and they work out. Yes, that's dope, bro. Dope. Good, <laughs> good to meet you, bro. <laughs> stadium legit located right near the downtown district. So like my boy said, people that work and a lot of other people from around the city will come here, do workouts with their friends. Just have a good time, man. It's cool to see cities, how the local people use it, because now I feel more like Jakarta is my home. I feel like Jakarta is another place where I can come back and I feel comfortable because I know people here from my Airbnb. I've met a lot of you guys and you've welcomed me in and I've seen what you guys do on a daily basis. So when I come back, I will know where to go and what to do. Terima kasih, Indonesia. All right, my pondering for this video. I just walked across a really nice bridge, saw a stadium that's brand new, and a lot of these old, or a lot of these buildings, look at that one, are brand new, looking all nice. And I was just thinking, and it was a profound thought, at least to me, so maybe it would be to you. The things that work in life, the best things to be, will never get old. <laughs> and I mean, the things that are the most important will yeah, never get old. Out a lot of times we just style. update the outside of everything to make it look new, but in reality, the building is the same, all right? As long as it's standing and it can hold offices where people can work, that's what it's meant for. It's not meant to have all these lights. Hey, <laughs> he just said, what's up, Connor? Like, hey, more people watch the videos, that's dope. But what I was saying is the structural integrity of the building is the most important because that's the job it was meant to do. And I wanted to relate it to people. So for us, the best qualities to have as a person, the things that you think about all the time, love, hope, loyalty, courage, being somebody who others can count on, helping other people. So that these are the structures of a human being that make the human good. But a lot of times we like to dress the outside and say, oh, I wear a lot of nice clothes or, oh, I have a lot of money. And then people mistake, people get confused as to what's most important. And we have to get back to the basics. Being a good human being, like a building, being a good building is one that has a solid foundation and good structural integrity that allows the people inside to do what they need to do. A good human being is one that has a solid foundation with good structural integrity like courage and morals and values and respecting other people and taking care of their family and it does not matter what it looks like on the outside, if it has a bunch of lights or if it's a bridge that looks really nice, it matters that the bridge is standing and that people can walk across. That was a great stadium sangat-sangat indah kena nampak waktu malam dengan lightingnya lagi tuh yang sangat-sangat cantik jadi setahu saya capacity stadium Gelora Bung Karno nih boleh memuatkan lebih 100.000 orang kalau saya tidak silap lah 100.000 ataupun sudah dikurangkan kalau saya silap mohon diperbetulkan di ruangan komen dan saya boleh bayangkan macam mana besarnya stadium itu bila saya tahu capacity stadium itu boleh memuatkan begitu ramai orang <laughs> by the way itu merupakan satu editing yang mantap dari Kone Sullivan so terima kasihlah untuk siapa yang sudah request saya ini video dan terima kasih juga buat kamu semua yang sudah menonton video ini dari awal hingga tamat video ini jangan kamu lupa untuk subscribe channel saya like video ini, share dan komen oke okay? <laughs> bye, see you in the next video Assalamualaikum